Happy January. Happy 2023. Let's see what's in store for you for, I guess, the rest of January. I know I'm a little slow at doing this this year, but, well, this is my first year, so sorry about that. But anyways, here is your reading for the rest of January and kind of just the vibe of what 2023 is going to bring for you. So if you're new to your ch my channel, I'm Tamsi Faye, and I'm just going to switch the screen so you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. I got some candles lit for some strength and positivity and all that goodness. The cards have a mind of their own, I swear. The last, this week, I don't know if it's because, you know, Mercury's in retrograde or whatever, or this, you know... A wolf moon energy I have no idea but the cards have decided they have a mind of their own so I'm just gonna give them a quick cleanse just uh, make sure we have the best energy we can get for this reading right so I should give them a quick sweep this that I have received I don't know, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you see me here, but, um, yeah. I got some dragon blood, and I'm just, well, it's like a, an incense thing. So I'm just going to cleanse the cards with it and see what happens, you know? I feel like it's going to bring some, you know, get rid of any negativity that may be brewing, you know? There we go. It actually smells really nice. Um, okay. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Let's get to it, right? Let's just get to it. So this is for Aquarius for 2023. What's the store for 2023 for Aquarius? You know, despite Mercury being in retrograde right now and all that energy. What's in store for the rest of January going in the, you know, the rest of the year kind of thing? Let's go. First, I'm going to read the past, then present energy, and then the future. So for the past, we have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, So the Five of Cups is all about, you know, like, you're ready to deal with what's coming. This is all, this is in your past. So in your past, you're preparing, you know, you're probably preparing for the new year sort of thing. You're just ready for, kind of anxious for the new year, anxious for a fresh new start. You're anxious to cross this bridge, and you don't know what's in store for you, right? The hands are blocking what's in store for you, but you're ready for it nonetheless, and, you know, you don't care what cups you knock over along the way. You're just heading straight into the new year. You're ready for it, you know, kind of vibe. Then you have the Ace of Wands, right? The Ace of Wands is all, is like, you know, it's kind of like a flaming torch. Just kind of symbolizes ideas are coming out of you, you know. You're like, you're ready for the light. You know, you're just ready for more light into your life. And you're ready to walk away from whatever darkness Whatever dark cloud was over you in 2022, you're just ready to cross that bridge. You're just ready for the new year. All that kind of energy is what I'm picking up as what from your past. Like you're just ready. You have new ideas. You have plans for that 2023. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It kind of says the same thing. Like whatever's hidden, whatever you don't know, whatever's unknown to you. You're ready for it anyways. They both kind of say the same thing. Like, you're ready. Whatever comes your way, you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is all about, you know, celebrations, things coming together, that sort of thing. You're ready to grow your happiness. You're ready to grow yourself as a person. You're ready to, you know, maybe reinvent yourself a little bit. Maybe... You know, it's a new year, you have new inspirations, new desires, and you're all ready for that. So that's your past. So that's really good. Like, like, 
that's good energy to going into the new year for sure. So let's see what your present energy is. January 2023 for Aquarius. What is their present energy right now? What is the present energy? Okay. So make sure these cards are well shuffled so we get the best reading here. There we go. Let's just see what's in store for 2023. Got the <laughs> Eight of Wands, more firing energy going on here. The King of Pentacles and the Fool. Okay, what what is seriously going on here? Okay, so you have the Eight of Wands in the light. So, you know, that's not a bad thing, right? It's kind of like a man dancing with, like, with a stick of fire, you know? In this case, because the Wands card, you know, he's shaking, he's dancing with his Wand of Flames, you know? He has all that fiery energy. In order to dance with a stick full of fire, it requires a lot of movement, a lot of concentration, you know, a lot of that sort of thing, a lot of manipulation of the fire, and all of that energy, you know, is all based on juggling and twirling and spinning and that form of movement, right? Is that kind of like the vibe he is bringing here? So I feel like you're ready for some movement. You're ready for some fast-paced energy at the present time. You know, like you're acting really quickly. You're overcoming some obstacles is the energy I'm picking up here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like you have this energy within you right now to work quickly and effectively at the same time. So you have all this fiery energy within you. You know what you want. You know what you need to manifest. You have your desires in place. I see that for you. You have all this ambition. Mm -hmm. But then you have, but you also have like the King of Pentacles in the dark, right? I read the cards to the light to you, to the dark to me. So since you have the King of Pentacles in the dark, he kind of represents, you know, he, even though he's the King of Pentacles, he's kind of disguised as a crow. So it's kind of like, even though you have all this energy and ambition, I still see like, I still feel like you're seeing something that is blocking you, right? Like you kind of, you're kind of wary about something is not what it seems to be kind of thing. I feel like even though you have all this energy, you're kind of obsessed with this energy right now. This is what I'm picking up is like, you know, you have all this fiery energy, you have all this ambition, you know what you want. You're kind of like a little bit obsessing over it. You know, you're 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 kind of kind of like the guy with the fire, right? He's kind of taking a risk playing with fire that way, moving it that quickly. So I feel like you're you're ready to take risk. Um, I feel like you're kind of like a gambler, like you're kind of gambling your ideas right now, like you're just throwing them out there. <sighs> Um, by the same time, you're kind of a little bit fearful, like you're moving so quickly, but you're fearful at the same time a little bit because, hmm, I feel so much energy, like I can feel your energy, like you're ready to go, you're like moving fast, like everything is coming together really quickly for you, but at the same time, you kind of have maybe a little bit of self-doubt or maybe you're questioning things a little bit more just because everything is going so fast and so quickly and you're, you you want to make sure you get this right is what I'm feeling, you know? Like I'm feeling that even though you want things done because you always have this assertive energy with you, you're always sure of what's going on, you're always sure of yourself of what you want and what to do. Um. They're kind of questioning everything, making sure that you're doing the right thing, even though you're moving so quickly. This is the energy I'm getting for you, Aquarius. Then you have the Fool, and the Fool is in the dark as well. And the Fool is always about um, a new journey and taking a leap of faith and all that sort of thing. Because in the dark, I kind of feel like your fear might be because you're scared to make a foolish decision because you're moving so fast 
is the energy I'm getting. It's like you're moving so quickly. You know what you want. You know what you're building into. And all this thing is the new year. And there's like the new year. Sometimes there's new responsibilities. You know, everything is a fresh start. That I feel like what you're a little bit afraid of the present energy is that maybe going too quickly you're afraid of making sort of like a foolish decision or you're just questioning your decisions that you're making right now or some sort of that kind of energy is presenting itself. Now let's just see what's in the future for all of this. What is the result of all of this energy? What is going to be the result of all this energy? Going into 2023, the rest of January. What is this energy presenting itself? You got the Knight of Wands. The Emperor. This one doesn't want to come out, so I'm guessing that one's not for you. The cards have a mind of their own, believe it or not. This one's coming out, and it's the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so for the King of Wands, he has all this fiery energy, right? He holds his wand firmly as though he has the strength and the power to whatever's coming ahead. He has that power, you know? He kind of brings up the same energy that I've been feeling all along in this reading. He also represents someone who has, who's like sure of himself, you know? Like maybe you're moving on a position, either at work or, um, or in family. Like if you're becoming a new parent, a new grandparent, or, you know, moving up. I feel like moving up in some kind of position, you know? Either a mentorship or entrepreneur that sort of thing where it's going to cause, is going to bring you more respect and make you financial stable is what I'm picking up here. It's like that's what you're working on is how to be more financially stable. Like you're ready to, like that's what I'm picking up here. That's the energy from the King of Wands. Then you have the Emperor and the Emperor, he's also kind of a father figure the same as the King, right? But he's kind of in the dark. So he's, even though he's a control freak and he, um, he has all of this energy as well, he's also, you know, he knows, he sees that you're moving too quickly, and he's kind of saying, the slow down a little bit, you know? Slow down a little bit. You have all this fiery energy going on, but coming up, you know, after this reading or any time in the future after you hear this, you're going to need to take some time to slow down a little bit, you know, and just take it down a little notch. Um, it sees that you're a control freak and all that stuff. I'm not really a control freak. I'm not feeling that energy. And just, just, you want to be in control of the situation, right? You want to know what's going on. You want to take charge of whatever it is that's going on with you right now. Like, I can see that you, like... That's why I think you're going to be like going up in a job or whatever. You just want to take charge of your position and where it's going, right? You want to, you know, better your finances and that sort of thing. You want to make sure that everything you're doing is right, right? That's probably why you want to take some. You want to have, be in charge of that a little bit, you know? You're holding your wand firmly, you know? Like, hey, I'm in charge here. This is how things are going to work out. This is what we're going to do. It feels that energy. You're carrying, like you carried it on from 2022. You're still carrying that energy now of whatever it is that you're working on. You know, you have the energy where you're just, you know, this is what's happening. This is what I'm doing. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. She kind of represents, you know, she's fiddling here with her little pentacle that she has created for herself. Right? She's just a young person. She's youthful. She has big ideas, big plans. Um, she's in the light, so you're you're taking on more responsibility. I really feel like you're taking on more responsibility. You're taking charge. You're manifesting what is going to bring you more financially stable than what you were. You know? 
it's all looking good. I love this for you. You know, you're sticking to your goals. You're developing your skills. You're taking opportunities. Um, I feel like maybe you might have started this new project or new job. Something is new. You're developing it. Um, mm -hmm. mm, I see that you have, like, something new is being born. You know, like a new... A new goal, a new ambition, a new hobby, a new baby perhaps. But something is coming and you that is, you know, that's the source of all your energy right now. Whatever it is, you're, it looks like it's going to be great and, you know, you're sticking to your goals. Yeah. I feel like it's a new project, a new skills, new, new... New year, like you're just ready for the new year. I feel all this energy is woo, taking over me right now. Everything is good. It's like all the cards have the same energy. Like you have all this fiery energy, all this ambition. You're just ready. You're just ready for it, you know? You're questioning things. It's not a bad thing. You need, you know, questioning things and being careful and all that sort of thing is good for you. My only advice is maybe, you know, take a step back like the Emperor suggests and just slow down a little bit, you know, make sure you have a little bit of time for some self-care and don't get overwhelmed with all of this fiery energy that you have going on right now. So, <laughs> that sounds like a good plan going forward in 2023. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you back here again. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.